Hi, this is Boris. Welcome to Patch Tuesday. Today we are making a feedback patch inspired by Rob Hordeck's Wrangler that's used, for example, in his Angelin. For this patch, we need two VCOs, in this case, Generate 3, which is going to use the core outputs, and a shift register. In the case of the Wrangler, this is a CMOS digital shift register. We are going to use step eight today, which is an analog shift register, but it also works. The trick is to have one VCO select the stage of step eight. For that, we use the core output. We bias it with the select two to make the bipolar signal unipolar. So it selects, nicely selects a stage on step eight. And the second oscillator we use as an input for the shift register. So this one goes to the input of step eight. It's biased by bias two. What happens now is we take two of the outputs of the analog shift register and feed them back into the exponential FM or into the pitch of the oscillators. And then we simply listen to the output of the shift register. And that will give you some pseudo-random noise. So by changing the amount of influence of the shift register on the frequencies of the oscillators, we can make it sound differently and make it find stable points or not. This is pretty noisy. So what if we just use the, don't listen to the output of the shift register itself, but use the out, use some different outputs of the shift register um, to start modulating other stuff. Got a sine wave patched in more four, so we can crossfade between the sine wave and the pure Wrangler output. And let me just take an analog output with the Wrangler noise and patch it into the exponential FM of the of a filter eight and self resonance, so pure sine wave. So this modulation is actually making this watery sound on filter 8. If we now move this into low frequency territory, we get these pseudo-random patterns. We can take this a step further and use the step output from step eight, uh, because every time the stage input selects in other stage, step eight generates a trigger output. So every time we go to the next step in the pattern, this contour one will be, will be triggered and use that in mix three to to open and close the VCA, which makes the, the pattern a bit more defined with shorter bursts of sound. We can now use, because we've got a couple of uh, shift registered outputs left, we can use one of these outputs to change, for example, the rate of contour one make it shorter and longer, depending on the output of the Wrangler, which is now in low frequency mode, so only makes clicks. There we go. If we now, for example, use um, an other output to 
uh, let's say, wait, maybe for good measure, we've got a filter 8 here that's clocking delay 1. Let's add some delay 1. A little bit of delay in there. Use one of the outputs of the Wrangler shift register to modulate the frequent the feedback of delay one. So sometimes feedback is gonna be completely open and then it's gonna be closed again. Which gives interesting sonic results. We can use, we've got a couple more outputs left, which we can use to change the clock of delay one. Nice randomness. So we've got a pseudo-random generative patch now with step 8. All of the shift register outputs are going to different places in the patch and then by attenuating these we can return to a more straightforward sound. our modulations back into it, we'll start making the patch random again. This fader controls the pitch of this VCO, that's why we're now seeing this pattern. If we start changing this, or this, yeah, this one. A rhythm, rhythm will be a bit more random again. Everything up. And we're fully random. Or pseudo random. Modulate more for audio rates.
a performable pseudo random patch. Thanks for watching. Happy patching and see you next Tuesday. Bye.